you go through that phase in life where loads of your friends start having fancy dress parties, and you open the invite and you go, oh, no. <laughs> but then, when you get into it and you get to the party, it's yeah. a great leveller. Uh -huh. And I always <laughs> use it, because I'm quite a sedate dresser in real life. So I always use it. I always choose something that I think is quite sexy. Yeah. Like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you look I so would, gorgeous. Would never you wear do anything look great. like this, obviously, without the mask in real. I'd never wear a cat suit or can, anything. Can you stand up so we can all see your amazing figure? You've got such a great well, figure. Yeah, but, but, mm, Just do it. You look baggy. great. <laughs> <laughs> So I was saying, I went to a... Uh, it was Jonathan Ross's 40th, actually, cos he's mates with my husband, and it was um, superheroes. So yeah. I thought, I'm going as Catwoman. I am going to rock it. I got there, eight of the Catwoman. Cat <laughs> <laughs> eight! <laughs> what are you? Oh, uh, well, I, when I did Panto a couple of years ago, at the end of the of the run, everyone was going, right, we've all got to dress up, we're going to do a porno party, so you've got to go dressed as a porno character. So I thought, oh, no, what am I going to wear? <laughs> They're all going to Anne Summers, all the young dancers and getting everything. So in the end, I was doing um, Peter Pan, so I did a... I got a dog's paw, I put a no and a star, so I'm a porno star. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because you you deliberately dress very differently when you're in fancy dress. How are you doing in real in real life? I go the other way in so much as I don't want to wear anything that looks sexy or like I'm I'm trying to look sexy. I like to go daft. Yeah, so comedy. the last fancy dress I went to, <laughs> I decided I wanted to go as Elvis. And in the end, four of us hired the same costumes and we all went dressed as Elvis. <laughs> and it was the best fun yeah. because we were all <laughs> all night. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what the music is, you just dance like Elvis all night. <laughs> and also, it took the pressure off because you know you look silly. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah nice. Do you know, funny enough, the next fancy dress I went to, Don't I actually, me. I can't help <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Only one's rabbit. <laughs> We went as um, Inspector Clouseau, you know, the Pink Panther. Uh. So I went as the Pink Panther, the full costume like that. But I didn't want to take the head off, so I spent the whole night drinking through a straw through the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I went years ago, actually, to a cousin's fancy dress, and um, I don't know why I picked Bumblebee. <laughs> well, well, it's because bumblebee, when or... I walked into the fancy dress shop, there's bumblebee concert, a big fat bumblebee with a big head, <laughs> and I just thought it was hysterical. I thought, how hysterical! But what happened was the night before, I cricked my neck. Right. So I went like half a dead bumblebee. <laughs> 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 Why, why have you had your head like that? And I was like, I can't move it. You just said you're a bumblebee that had hit the windscreen. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. I did have to stop for petrol on the way. That's always a worry, isn't it? Yeah, when yeah. you have to think, oh, I've no petrol, I've got to get out dressed as a out sick bumblebee. Oh, it's, it's like the whole Del Boy and Rodney yeah. thing. With I, a, a I remember um, I, I went to an 80s one and, I, again, I went as Roller Girl because I quite like, you know, roller skating. I had the neon this. I was so, like, I'm so on this, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And then somebody was holding a door open for me, and I didn't realise it was one of those doors that swings Sweet. both ways. <laughs> so I skated towards it. Bang! <laughs> Ended up having to go and get my coccyx x-rayed. <laughs> and I remember um, my, my, my husband, before we got married, he, one of his girlfriends from years ago, and they were going to a fancy dress, and she said, oh, I'm really busy, can you get me an outfit? And it was movie stars. Yeah. So he went off to, you know, that big fancy, famous fancy dress shop in London and got them a couple of... And it was, like, an hour before the party, and she turned up and went, right, where's my outfit, where's my outfit? Thinking, like, Marilyn Monroe or something. <laughs> and you got her Chewbacca. <gasps> <laughs> she spent the whole night like that in a complete... Yeah. <laughs> 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 the yeah, yeah, would really like yeah, that. You I just would. have... No-one would know who you were, no. and you just have to go... <laughs> <laughs> Like at a party. <laughs> <laughs> He's slightly hairy haunting. and leery, that's me. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. great yeah. levellers, I think. They are. Dress yeah. And as much you? as you dread them, once you get there, it's like everyone instantly. There's and just... If you don't want to go the full hog, a wig party is brilliant as well. If you just want to, you know, dress in your normal clothes. With I've a wig a on? Yeah, just with a wig on. That's just pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> that's a half-hearted fancy dress. Really? That's, just that's just lazy fancy dress. <laughs> lazy fancy that's dress. That's just you can't be bothered to do your hair, so let's have a wig party. <laughs> So just don't ever do that again, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>